So we will be looking at some multiple choice questions regarding non-Newtonian fluids from the subject fluid mechanics. The first question in front of us is which of the following best describes the physiotropic fluid? The options are viscosity of that fluid increases with shear rate or it decreases with shear rate or it remains constant with shear rate or is not at all affected by the shear rate. Now let's look at answer. For Thixotropic fluid viscosity decreases with shear rate and explanation for this is that it exhibits a decreasing viscosity when shear rate is increased that is they become less viscous as shear stress or shear rate is increased with respect to time right. So question number 2 a fluid that behaves as a solid until a certain yield stress is exceeded is termed as first one rheopectic fluid second pseudoplastic fluid third one Bingham fluid and option four dilatant fluid. The answer is Bingham fluid. Example of a Bingham fluid is a toothpaste. Okay. It behaves as a solid until a certain yield stress is exceeded. Once the yield stress get exceeded or surpassed, they do behave like a viscous flowing fluid. Right. Question three, a fluid that shows an increase in apparent viscosity means apparent viscosity with time under constant shear stress is called as rheopectic, pseudoplastic, bingham or thixotropic. The answer is rheopectic fluid option D. See, rheopectic fluid exhibit an increase in apparent viscosity with respect to time under constant shear stress. Means, viscosity increases for a rheopectic fluid with prolonged shearing, continued shearing. Question 4. Which fluid property characterizes a dilatant fluid? Option A, increase in volume under shear, then decrease in volume under shear, then constant volume under shear, and no change in volume under shear. The answer is increase in volume under shear. See, dilatant fluid, also known as shear thickening fluid, increase in volume under shear stress. They become more viscous and they resist the flow as shear stress increases. The example for this dilatant fluid is cornstarch plus water, also known as oobleck. Then question 5, a fluid that shows a decreasing viscosity with time under constant shear stress is known as pleopectic, pseudoplastic, bingham or thixotropic. The answer is thixotropic. See, thixotropic fluid exhibit a decrease in viscosity with time under constant shear stress. This means their viscosity decreases with prolonged shearing. The example for thixotropic fluid is ink which is used in printer, right? Or uh, the paint means Whenever we are stirring the paint, its viscosity decreases and when that paint is kept as it is in a position, its viscosity seems to be increased. Then question 6, which of the following statement is true for pseudoplastic fluid? Its viscosity increases with shear rate, its viscosity decreases with shear rate, viscosity remains constant means as it is with shear rate or viscosity is not at all affected by shear rate. The answer is Viscosity decreases with shear rate. As we are increasing the shear rate, the viscosity gets reduced. Pseudoplastic fluid, just like ketchup, have decreasing viscosity with increasing shear rate. For example, if we are squeezing a ketchup bottle, its viscosity decreases and it comes out of that ketchup bottle. Means increase in the shearing decreases the viscosity of that pseudoplastic. Then Question 7. A fluid that behaves as a solid until certain yield stress is exceeded is called as. Okay, we are talking about fluid exhibiting solid properties. First one, rheopectic, second, pseudoplastic, third one, bingham, and fourth one, dilatant. The answer is bingham fluid. Right? Bingham fluid will be behaving, will be acting like a solid until we are achieving that exact certain amount of yield stress. Then question it, which fluid property characterizes a dilatant fluid, right? Dilatant fluid means that cornstarch plus water solution. Increase in volume under shear, decrease in volume under shear, constant volume under shear or no change in volume under shear. See, increase in volume under shear is the characteristics of which fluid? Dilatant fluid. Example, cornstarch plus water, that is food like. Then, a fluid that shows an increase in apparent viscosity with time under constant shear stress is called as rheopectic, pseudoplastic, bingham or thixotropic. The answer is rheopectic fluid. 
See, pre-objective field shows an increase in apparent viscosity with time under constant shear stress. Means, with respect to prolonged shearing, their viscosity is going to increase. Then question 10. Which type of non-Newtonian fluid? Okay, non-Newtonian means the fluid that will not obey Newton's law. Right? Which of the following non-Newtonian fluid exhibit shear thickening behavior? Right? First of pleopatic, then pseudoplastic, wing pump and dilate. Which of this is this dilate? Right? We just saw that constant plus uh, water solution increases the, its viscosity and resistance to flow with infinite shear rate. Okay. The flow behavior index that is 10 of pseudoplastic fluid is greater than less than equal to 1 or can be anything. The answer is less than value. See n should be less than 1 for a pseudoplastic fluid or n less than 1 indicates what a pseudoplastic fluid. Which type of non Newtonian fluid exhibits a yield stress before it starts to flow? Pleopatic, pseudoplastic, big numpatic, or not? The answer is big number fluid, as we just saw in the ketchup example, right? Or toothpaste example. In which type of non Newtonian fluid the viscosity decreases with time under constant shear stress? Pleopatic, but in options are going to be this four five things that is pleopatic, pseudoplastic, big number. Thinktropic or dilate. Right? The answer is thinktropic fluid. Thinktropic fluid exhibit a decrease in viscosity with time under constant shear stress. Their viscosity decreases with prolonged shear. Okay, example being printer scene and latex paint or paint. The consistency index K in the Herschel Bulkley equation represents yield stress, viscosity at low shear stress, flow behavior index, or viscosity at higher shear C. K indicates viscosity at low shear rates. Then, which of the following is an example of dilated fluid? Water, honey, quicksand, or olive oil? The answer is quicksand. See, whenever we are trying to put stress on the quicksand, when we are trying to cross quicksand, then it opposes our motion, right? It is a dilated fluid. Whenever we are putting enough stress on it, it will be behaving like a thick solution or a, a near solid solution, right? Then a fluid that becomes thicker and more resistant to flow as the shear rate increases is known as pleopatic, pseudoplastic, or being or dilated. The answer is dilated. We just saw whenever we are trying to shear it, we are putting shear stress on it. Whenever the shear rate increases, the viscosity increases, it nearly becomes solid, it behaves like solid. If you take Constant plus water solution that is public solution in a tub and try to punch it, it will be behaving as if you are punching a wall or a solid brick. Right? This is this is how much a dilated fluid behaves differently. And which type of fluid exhibits shear thinning behavior? Right? Means increase in the shear rate means uh, reduction in viscosity, thinning of that liquid or fluid. Pleopatic, pseudoplastic, wing or thinktropic. Answer is pseudoplastic. Okay, decrease in viscosity, increase in shear rate, being a shear thinning behavior for pseudoplastic. Then, what is the primary characteristics of a Bingham fluid? Okay, that toothpaste kind of viscosity increases with shear rate, or it decreases with shear rate, or yield stress before flow. No change in this. The answer is yield stress before flow. Okay, until a certain yield stress is achieved. It do not move or it do not start to flow. This is all the property of Bingham fluid. Okay. Always remember the example of toothpaste. Until and and the moment you are putting that enough yield stress, then and only then it is going to flow. Otherwise, it is going to stay in its non-fluidic state or non-fluidic behavior. It will be shown. Then fluid, a fluid that becomes less viscous over time under constant shear stress is classified as. That's the answer. It is thinktropic. Okay. Then what type of fluid has flow behavior in it greater than in greater than one is for pleopatic fluid? Then next question: Which fluid behaves as a solid until certain stress is exceeded after making it? Behaves like a viscous fluid. It is Bingham fluid. The example of toothpaste. These are the same questions. Uh, sometimes the language is changed or some parameter is going to change, but 
you have to focus on the keyword like viscosity is there increase in shear stress if it is being asked if it is being asked or a certain yield stress if it is being asked right you have to focus on the keyword what keyword is being asked okay the questions are going to be frame differently the options may sometimes be same but you have to focus on what exact keyword are being focused now see after that become more viscous over time under constant shear stress it is called a neopectic fluid right then what type of fluid is characterized by a decrease in volume under shear stress the answer is pseudoplastic fluid right it uh, behave it shows decrease in volume under shear stress which contribute to their shear thinning behavior means more shearing less is going to be the viscosity right which fluid type shows an increase in apparent viscosity with time under constant shear stress the answer is rheopectic fluid it is going to exhibit increase in apparent viscosity with time under constant shear stress right then a fluid that exhibits yield stress and requires a certain force to initiate flow is characteristics of obviously being the fluid the toothpaste thing which fluid property is indicative of dilatant fluid increase in viscosity with shear rate decrease in viscosity with shear rate increase in volume under shear stress constant volume under shear stress see increase in volume under shear stress is the property indicative that it is dilatant fluid a uh, quick sand or constant plus water solution in which of the non newtonian fluid does the viscosity decrease with time under constant shear stress the answer is stichotropic fluid filter ink and latex fluid which fluid type have yield stress before it start to exhibit plastic behavior see plastic behavior the answer is bingham bingham fluid right the flow behavior index and pseudoplastic fluid is typically less than one right then which fluid type has a viscosity that can be constant regardless of shear rate the answer is dilatant fluid dilatant fluid maintain a constant viscosity no matter how much shear rate you are putting a fluid that exhibit a decrease in viscosity with increasing shear rate is known as pseudoplastic fluid it is the consistent index k in the oswald d well power law equation represents fluids viscosity at lower shear rate the consistent index that is k in the oswald d well power law equation represents the fluids viscosity at low shear rates now which type of non newtonian fluid exhibits an increase in volume under shear stress dilatant fluid again which is the primary characteristic of rheopectic rheopectic fluid does what its viscosity increases with shear rate as much as shear rate you are providing or increasing it is going its viscosity is going to increase then last question of this video which type of non newtonian fluid shows a decrease in viscosity with time under constant shear stress the answer is things are dropping right so all these mcq i am going to put in a pdf and the pdf will be available on telegram channel simplified so i will see you in the next one till then take care bye